more than 50 years, mainline medical literature has been full of studies and reports and tests dealing with taking the blood of the young and then giving transfusions to the old or the sick. And the evidence is pretty conclusive. Uh, it has a lot of health benefits if you are not getting tainted blood that has HIV or hepatitis A, B, or C or other impurities, pathogens, or diseases in it. It was the queen mother who lived a century who admittedly got whole body blood transfusions from young people on a monthly basis. In fact, they've been trying to suppress it, but some evidence shows the Queen of England is routinely getting blood transfusions. A lot of rock stars get them. In fact, this is getting so widespread, there are even fancy medical clinics in Austin, Texas, where I live, where you can get blood transfusions, and they even privately advertise the fact that you can get the blood of the young. Billionaire Republican Peter Thiel recently came out and said that he is investing massive amounts of money in companies that are trying to mainline this science and bring it to market. To be clear, I'm all about scientific advancements as long as it does no harm, the Hippocratic Oath. The problem is the Oath of Hippocrates is no longer being given by Western medicine upon graduation. Now that we've covered the history of this technology and established that it does exist and the elites are obsessed with it, I want to engage in some speculation. Now, the mainstream media, the corporate dinosaur media, routinely accuses me of speculating a lot. The truth is I speculate very, very little. But when I do, I point it out, and I'm about to do it. But not on this first point. Hillary Clinton's connection to the blood market is confirmed in that for a decade when she and Bill were basically co-governors of Arkansas, they ignored federal and international laws and regulations on all blood being tested before it was pooled into the international blood market. And they took the state prisons of Arkansas and allowed jail guards to pay and to sell drugs to the inmates where some of them were giving up to 20 times the amount of blood they were supposed to give. I mean, every few days, these people were like zombies, but it gets worse. On record, the Arkansas Blood Bank, controlled by them, they got money from lobbyists for it, this is one of the biggest scandals that the Clintons are involved in, sold the blood to international consortiums in Bayer, knowing that members of the prison population that were giving blood had HIV, hepatitis, and other diseases. Back in the late 90s, I interviewed the head of the Hemophiliac Society in Canada, whose offices were simultaneously robbed the very night that the doctor I had on, who'd worked in the prisons, who blew the whistle, got firebombed in Little Rock. So I've been very, very, very close to this case, and I would advise everybody to look into Bayer and the fact that they knew they were selling blood and blood products that had HIV and hepatitis in it, and I would look into where they got the blood almost exclusively from the Clintons. So these people are beyond vampires. They are taking prisoners, getting them to sell their blood under duress, and then marking it as safe and healthy and not having any diseases in it when they knew it was contaminated. This is beyond evil. This, is, this makes Hillary you know, and Bill stealing the China of George Washington look tame in comparison. Now the speculation part. I'm not saying I think this is happening. I'm saying this should be looked into. The Secret Service came to us during the RNC and said, we're not going to give you the info now, but give us your contact info. In a few weeks, we'll give it to you. It's big. Hillary news. We get the news. Hillary has special vehicles, special lift gates. She's falling down, sometimes multiple times an hour. They think she has Parkinson's. Then the WikiLeaks comes out with the fact that she was seeking a Parkinson's drug. And then days later, she falls down at a 9-11 event, and the media tries to cover it up. This is incredible. Now, don't forget when our team was on the ground in Cleveland for the RNC, we had the most exclusive passes anybody could get. There were national news stories saying, how the hell does Alex Jones have complete backstage right through the Secret Service passes? Well, we had those. And while we were there, we had a chance to talk to the Secret Service. And they told Joe Biggs and I, they singled us out and said, please come over here. They said, listen, we're going to give you information in the next few weeks that is vital to national security. And we're like, okay, well, here's our number. And then sure enough, they had a contact come to Austin, gave us the info. They said, look at her lift gates. Follow her around the road. See what she's doing. She's falling down. She's having convulsions. We don't know what it is. It could be Parkinson's, but please investigate. Because we're really worried about this, and we've been told to cover it up. That's their duty to do that. 
<laughs> sure enough, she's got special lift gates. Sure enough, she has stretchers and is in hospital tents we've caught on tape uh, in Cleveland a month later. Then she collapses at a 9-11 event, and the media wouldn't even show her collapsing. They would just show her stumbling before she collapsed and say, oh, she didn't collapse. Conspiracy theorists made that up. But finally, with that background, here is the question I'm asking. Here is the educated guess or speculation. I see her at last Monday's debate with Trump, and she looks about 90% better. She still looks tired. She still looks haggard. But she looks 90% better. I mean, she looks like death's doorstep in some of these speeches. And she couldn't even give a press conference for days. She'd start hacking and coughing, uh, you know, falling down on the street. She looks a lot better. And I sat back and started doing some research and thinking, what treatment could reverse her illness that fast? It's not drugs. It's not speed. Uh, it's not even DNA treatments. There really isn't anything but whole body blood transfusions. These things take a whole day. They admittedly do them. The queen mother would be on death's doorstep and get one of these and live another six months, and then they do it again. And that is what I really think Hillary Clinton has had was a blood transfusion. I remember reading a news article back when Al Gore was vice president that he would carry a refrigerator on his jet full of his own blood, and they said, oh, that's in case he gets shot. But then people saw him in the press with you know IVs basically in him. So I guess these super rich people are like vampires of a sort. We know Gore is doing it, the queen, the queen mother, so many other elites, they've got clinics in Austin that do it. And this is gonna get so mainline, I guess you know, like you'll go to a you know fast food joint to get it done. But regardless, we need to talk about her health and how she suddenly got so much better because it was miraculous. I mean, I was thinking she couldn't stand for 90 minutes. I was thinking there was no way she could do it because she could barely give a five or 10 minute speech, but suddenly got so much better. And that's why we need Hillary Clinton to release her full medical records. Not just what some side doctor did years ago in New York, but what she was doing when she was in the hospital for over a year in 2012 and 2013. But bottom line, we know she's got hyperthyroidism. And as Drudge said, you don't elect somebody at 70 who's got that. It's a serious illness, normally fatal at that age in just a few years. We know she's had surgeries. We know she disappears for weeks on end. We know she's having coughing fits. We know she's got an ambulance following her. We know she's disappearing into medical tents. We know she's falling down in front of everybody. And the Secret Service told us it's happening all the time. I don't just get leads from the comments on Infowars.com and on YouTube. I also go in different directions I would have never thought of reading your comments because really crowdsourcing the knowledge of the people is so amazing. So please let us know below here at Infowars.com and on other platforms what you think's going on because it is miraculous, it is uncanny, and if I'm ever sick, I want to know what she's on because if it isn't kid's blood, I'm going to be taking it. If it's kid's blood, I don't know. It's something about young people's blood. I mean, are they being coerced into this? What's going on? I mean, this is there's a creepy factor there. But regardless, this is real 21st century stuff that's happening, and it needs to be investigated. And I leave that up to you. Looking at the facts, doing the research, seeing how miraculously she got so much better, my educated guess, my gut is Hillary got a massive total body or near total body blood transfusion. But here's the problem for Hillary. Those things stop working after a while, and if you look at the Queen Mother's case, you can't put it off forever. So... She's going downhill quickly. You've got to ask the establishment, what are you doing putting somebody this sick in the White House? I'm Alex Jones, and this is The Info War. I want more candy. I want more video games. Why, why, why? And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We work with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. For more than 50 years, mainline medical literature has been full of studies and reports and tests dealing with taking the blood of the young and then giving transfusions to the old or the sick. 
And the evidence is pretty conclusive. Uh, it has a lot of health benefits if you are not getting tainted blood that has HIV or hepatitis A, B, or C or other impurities, pathogens, or diseases in it. It was the queen mother who lived a century who admittedly got whole body blood transfusions from young people on a monthly basis. In fact, they've been trying to suppress it, but some evidence shows the Queen of England is routinely getting blood transfusions. A lot of rock stars get them. In fact, this is getting so widespread, there are even fancy medical clinics in Austin, Texas, where I live, where you can get blood transfusions, and they even privately advertise the fact that you can get the blood of the young. Billionaire Republican Peter Thiel recently came out and said that he is investing massive amounts of money in companies that are trying to mainline this science and bring it to market. To be clear, I'm all about scientific advancements as long as it does no harm the Hippocratic Oath. The problem